Hello, this is Ibrahim. Uh, in this new series of videos, I'm going to talk about plotting and graphing in Python. Well, there are numerous libraries and numerous modules that you could actually use to create beautiful plots and beautiful libraries, most of which are in JavaScript. Well, of course, there are. Well, generally speaking, there is a library for each and every programming language out there that you could utilize to actually make beautiful plots and graphs. With that said, um, the one I'm going to be talking about is something I really like. It's called Bokeh. And it's pretty beautiful. The reason why I like it is because, well, first of all, it's open source. Well, the second thing, or the second reason why I like the library is that it enables you to display your plots and graphs in the browser without having to deal with JavaScript and stuff. Um, I'll show you more about this. Let me just show, uh, bring it up. Now, this is the library. The latest release is 0 0.12, and this is the library. You can find it in GitHub, front slash bucket. And it has some pre pretty nice examples. That And this is all displayed in the browser. And it's coded, and uh, the, well, the back end of it is in Python. And this is a sample demonstration. Now, this is a graph, and you have some of these pretty sweet controls on the right-hand side. For example, it can zoom in, zoom out, and so on and so forth. Now, the library, the way you install the library is very simple. If you're going to use Anaconda, you can simply open the Anaconda shell and then Conda install Bokeh. Or if it's not, you can just PIP install Bokeh. And it will install all the dependencies required for the library to, to work or to function properly. So, with that said, let's jump right in. It's very simple and straightforward. In this first video, Let's make things very simple and just try to show a simple graph or a simple uh, plot. Before we jump in, we need to know something. And as you can see, or let me choose another representation or a num another list. Let me show you this. And you will see that. Uh, you see we have an x-axis here and a and y-axis in this side. And you can see there are points, x and y points. For example, this is a point. This is the intersection. The intersection here is, is, the intersection here is, is represented using a circle. And, uh, and this whole thing, we'll name this whole thing as a figure. With that in mind, let's jump right in to coding. And let's see if, uh, let's see how that's done. I'm going to use Spider for this demonstration or for this series of videos. You can use whatever ID you please or whatever editor you like. So in this case, first of all, before we start doing anything, we need to import two important classes that we will be working with. So from bookie dot plotting, we will import what we call the figure class. Now this would be responsible for what we call for the object that we contain the data that we need to represent as well as the details say for example the x-axis label as well as the y-axis label the way we present the intersections between the intersections between x and y points and so on and so forth we'll see more on this as we proceed and then we also need to display we also need to import uh, the classes that enable us to actually save the plot to a file as well as show us the file that we need. So from bookie.io we will import um, first of output file output underscore file like so as well as show. Now that we've imported the necessary classes, these are the basic importing classes that we need to actually draw something and show it in the browser. So first of all let's create an object. Uh, let's create an object that we let's create an object called fj that stands for figure of type figure now this is basically this is how we create an object or an instance of any class and um, there are several parameters that we can actually use when we initiate when we create an instance of the class of the figure class one of which is called x underscore axis label like that and then we can give it 
a name that we please, any name that we like. Let's name this x axis just for simplicity. And then uh, we also can we can do the same for y axis like this. Y axis label and then we give it the name y axis. So now what we've done, we've created an object of type figure that has these two details, the x-axis and the y-axis. After that, what we need to do is we need to have our lists or our points ready, x and y points. So for now, let's define these as lists, 1, 2, 3, 4, so something like a slope here. And then we need to also have the y points. We will do this. We will have this similar to the x points. And now we have the x and y points. What we need to do, we need we need to we need to tell the FG object that we want you to use x and y points, and for the intersections between x and y, we want you to represent them in a given shape. In this case, let's try to demonstrate it using a circle. So circle, and then we give it in the x and y points that we've defined uh, that we just defined. Yeah. And then that we've defined that we created the we, we, that we use the figure now that we've used the figure object and then we've defined the intersections x and y and then presented them using circles we need to save this to a file and then we that's where the output underscore file comes in handy the model that we've just imported earlier and then we're going to name this sample plot.html and that's it and then the final step will use the figure object uh, sorry we will show we'll use the show method the class that we've defined earlier and then we supply in the figure object that we've created of course there are several other parameters like the browser you want to display it in and so on and so forth but for now we'll keep things simple and we just display this as is so let's go ahead and run this and we can see here these are the points one one two two so it's like a, a slope here and four and four points and then you can ha you have you can see that these are the controls that we've got along with the drawing that we just created and then we can do lots of fascinating things here we can zoom in zoom out and so on and so forth i'll let you explore that on your own and then we can uh we can instead of us uh, specifying circles as the intersection points here these are circles we can change those to instead of circles to X and of course there are different other way different other methods to actually represent the intersections and then you can see here that this has changed or been updated to the X that we've just specified now the other thing that you need to know is that in here the X and Y points are defined in form of list of course you can define them in other formats or in other forms say for example this can be a constant say if we specified this 3 and this let's leave y as is and then we should get a vertical line as the browser is right here and then you can see x is always 3 and the y that's the, that's the one that keeps on changing uh, yeah that's one number two is that these points can be constants or can be any form of sequence. By sequence, we mean a list, a, uh, a tuple, uh, anything that could be anything of the form sequence, an array, and so on and so forth. So, any form of sequence could be used to represent the points x and y. So, yeah, uh, that's the first video for this uh, series of videos. I hope that was helpful and thank you for following along. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And if you like, uh, to follow up the rest of the videos, feel free to subscribe and thank you for your time and thank you for watching. Have a good day.